Welcome to Inside the Honors College, where we believe that wisdom and virtue is found when we learn together. Join us as we take an inside look at a community dedicated to educating the next generation of disciples and scholars. I'm Thayena Esteves. And I'm Ellie Overman. And oh my goodness, I love Hallie. She is one of my sweet mates, and I have just consistently been so grateful for her and her authenticity. This conversation reminded me of this commercial I watched forever ago, but I can't I can't <laughs> seem to get it out of my head. It says, we are more alike, my friends, than we are unalike. And I think that is just so beautiful. And this conversation also kind of held space for like the value of creating space and affirming individual gifts and how they work together. And so it just really encouraged me to think about the beauty of of just affirming like similarities and differences and holding them all together in this lovely community. And so I'm just a big fan of Hallie. Aww, that was so beautifully put. And I mean, your student is so insightful. It was, I could listen to her speak forever. And I know that we've mentioned this before, but I think it just shows how important this is in like the permission to ask questions Mm -hmm. and that it's okay not to know everything, that we won't know everything. And that's, you know, kind of why we're here. We are, Mm -hmm. one of the phrases that she uses was like collaborative community community you know Mm -hmm. like we're supposed to be celebrating each other when you do know the answers when you don't know the answers and it's part about growing and finding them and talking about them together and I just think there were so many beautiful things that she mentioned but these are just some of them so you know without any more waiting let's just get right into it Hallie hi friend hello Ellie how are you doing today I'm doing pretty well okay okay That's a start. That's a start. So I have kind of an exciting icebreaker question for you. How has being a music and worship major shaped how you read the books in the Honors College? Mm. It's really deep. I mean, that's a really deep question (laughs) for me. I I feel like I'm constantly, (laughs) yeah, yeah. I'm constantly coming into like every question with, or every discussion with like a ministry perspective and an art perspective. And so wanting to like do something different and wanting to be um, just like explore the artistic side of things and of philosophy um, and like being fascinated with history for that reason, but also just like having such a heart for like the people around me and like, wanting to connect with them on a deeper level. So I feel like just, um, being so like art focused, um, it's definitely like the opposite where I'm all of a sudden, like I'm in my head a lot, but, um, I think it allows me to be kind of balanced for the most part. Do you have like a specific example of that? I mean, anytime we have been reading about a scripture I'm like always trying not to be like, God is so good guys. Like trying to like tone that down and be like, yeah, "Yeah, let's read this like in an act, like through an academic lens um, and being intentional about that. But I don't know. Yeah. Super cool. I love that. So let's kind of hop right into your, your honors story. How did you hear about the honors college and why did you decide to be a part of it? I, heard about the honors college kind of on a whim. I didn't really know a lot about it or what it was. And I think I was just reading about it and I was like, Oh, it's like, it's about books. Like I haven't read in a while. Like I haven't read in a really long time. Like this would be kind of cool. And, um, even still, I kind of feel like I'm in like bookworm rehabilitation right now. (laughs) Like I'm in Like I'm trying to remember like how to read well Mm -hmm. and like get into books. Um, But I think that when I was looking um, at like what the honors college would be like, it just looked like a lot of opportunity and a lot of different ways to explore the world around me through different lenses. And um, I think that just made me really excited. So I went to a liberal arts high school. And so there was like a lot of um, diversity in that and also just a lot of emphasis in the arts. So academics definitely got pushed to the back burner and I did what I could to do well, but not thrive in my academic classes. So I definitely tested out the waters in a lot of my arts experiences, but not a lot with um, anything like academically related for sure. 
uh, definitely just did what I did to get by. Right. And then um, I think I didn't want to apply to the honors college because I didn't like I was only like half qualified. And I just felt like, what if I don't like do well? Like, yeah. I, I have like an intense fear of failure, which was like really preventing me from like wanting to commit. But I think it was just like, it sounded like such a collaborative community that I really wanted to be included. Um, and so now I'm just like, so much more intellectually pushed as well as artistically pushed. And I feel like all of the things that I love about myself, I'm yeah. investing in fully um, in a balanced way, opposed to like just doing art before, which is still awesome, but there needs to be both. I think. Mm, I love that. So you're feeling more balanced and kind of your values and what you're pursuing in that front. Totally. Yeah. I think okay. now yeah, I w it's now it's like getting to emphasize like faith, getting to emphasize mm -hmm. music, getting to emphasize like um uh like asking questions. I feel like now I have permission to ask questions mm -hmm. I didn't think that I had permission to ask before. Yeah. Um like I'm investing time into answering those questions. Yeah, I love that. That actually sets us up really nicely for our next question, which is how have you been challenged through your experience in the honors college and how have you kind of just grown as a person through that experience? I think the honors college is, um, it is so cool. Like it really is just like such a fun place to be in that you are free to ask questions and totally like expose like your wandering. If you, if you choose to take advantage of that opportunity, then you absolutely are exposed in, in what you are walking through. I think that I have always struggled always, 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 this will always be like my <laughs> worst thing ever, but always struggling with comparison. And so all of a sudden, like being like, um, face to face with, I mean, obviously on a screen, but like face to face with people who are, who are definitely smarter than me, <laughs> who are definitely like capable in other areas that I am not and learning to see that as like a beautiful thing. Um, and to be like, yes, challenged by it and see like that, that is a level to which I, I can strive for, but also like being pushed to celebrate what other people have done. And I think that the, one of the biggest things that I've experienced is like a lot of people who are really, really smart mm -hmm. are still afraid, even in the honors college to like show that side of themselves. Cause I right. think like there are people who make other smart people feel really bad about themselves for being smart. Like, in just a way where it's like, that's annoying or like, you're this kind of smart, but like, I'm, I can do all these other things. And it's like, what are you trying to prove? So I think now I've come into a place where I'm like, like just really trying to be like kind and encourage the people around me to like, just to, to thrive in what they know they love to do and be. So that's really like how I've grown and just like, it's not about like, me trying to be as good as them, but about like giving them the space to like be what they've always wanted to be. Mm. Yeah. I love that. I think that is so wise and something that is so important in the honors college and has shown up a lot in these conversations is like this community is really oriented around what you bring to the table. And we all have really different experiences mm -hmm. and faith backgrounds even and so this opportunity to see that as something to value mm -hmm. and even like kinds of intellect right and so I think that is just so wise what has that looked like for you to kind of think about like what do you bring to the table has that been a conversation you've been kind of thinking about yeah that's so ooh, I don't know if I've been thinking about what I can bring yeah I think um if I am to think about it then I'm I'm guessing like what, what I desire to bring mm. is space. Yeah. What I desire to bring is like 
accessibility. I want, I think what I love about, like, I will always come back to like diversity in that it is so valuable in any community and feeling like, um, especially when it comes to faith, like how can I be someone of faith? Because there are people who bring different faith, who bring no faith. Um, how can I make that more accessible? So when we look at things through an academic lens, like let's talk about it in an academic lens. Like I'm not, I'm not here to like spread the gospel in class, but also like right. there is a way I can talk about it. That's like not this is my whole life and I'm way more knowledgeable about it than you are. Like that's not the point and doesn't right. help anybody. So I think I want to be like uh, accessible to people and I want to be um, like affirming. I think that's the hardest thing about online too is like people feel like they throw their, their, their input into a void and it doesn't right. go anywhere. Um, and you don't, like you don't get to hear people go, mm-hmm, right. mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like in response. But I think like just even giving like physical responses and, and like in a colloquy is like so affirming to people and just following up with them about like what you said really impacted me and being transparent about those things. I think people need to hear that. Yeah, I think you're so right. And I really admire your kind of intellectual hospitality and your humility in that space. That's just something I really admire mm. about you that I think is so cool. So after having kind of thought about these things and having been in honors for almost two semesters, if you were talking to the greater APU community, what is one thing you wish you could share about the honors college? I think coming from the perspectives of like valuing diversity and also being um, hindered by comparison, mm. my like I think you can be caught by the caught in a net by those things wherever you are and I think college is so diverse but we all come to the same school for a reason yeah and my what I would really want people to hold within themselves is like we grow from people who are like us and people who are unlike us. Mm -hmm. Diversity is like beautiful and should be celebrated and embraced because we absolutely learn from people who are different from us if we choose to listen. Um, but I think that we can also uh, embrace and learn from people who are like us and we can choose to be with people who are similar to us in that, um, like we need to learn how to like ourselves. Yeah. Um, and so if we're with people that are like us, we get to experience like, oh, this is a tension I feel within me. Mm. But if I can learn to overcome that with them, then like, then like how much more harmonious can I really be in whatever mm. community I'm in? Um, and I think just embracing like, these are the parts of me. This is what, like you were saying, like, I haven't even thought about what right. I've, what I'm capable of bringing to the table. But like when, when I see people who are like me, I see what they bring to the table and they identify what I bring to the table. Yeah. And then it's like a full circle moment of like, oh, like you, like sometimes it does feel like people are just serving me, right. but like, like I'm here to serve as well. So I think, yeah, just like embrace the like and the unlikeness around you um, and celebrate all of those things. Yeah, I love that. And that kind of, I feel like, shows this idea of, for lack of a word, like the Imago Day, like seeing the holiness in you and celebrating that and letting that be an example to me of where there's holiness or goodness in me. I think that's so profound mm -hmm. and beautiful. And I really. I really appreciate that perspective. Well, Hallie, thank you so much for coming on and sharing with us. I've just been so grateful for your input and kind of what you're learning right now and for sharing that with us. Mm, thank you. Mm -hmm. So sweet to talk with you. <laughs> Always. Okay. 
I have never, I know it's a great way, it's a great way to transition from all of the beautifulness that she was saying, mm-hmm. but I have never wanted to be in person in a conversation more than after all of the great things that she was saying. I think a lot of this like diversity being beyond just race and ethnicity, but also about perspective and ideas and just who is coming to the table and what are we talking mm-hmm. about? You know, I think that's so important. The fact that she addressed that is just beautiful and great for my heart. You know that being being different isn't going to take away from like having different people at the table isn't going to take away from your own ideas. You know these should be things that can enhance the conversation and having these different perspectives shouldn't be a hindrance. You know like mm-hmm. we can use these things to get better as a community as a people who are striving to learn and grow together and it's just so important and beautiful no I love also her little bit I just love so many things sorry (laughs) I also loved her bit on like intelligence and that you being smart does not take away from someone else being smart so comparing these two things isn't necessary and you can still strive for some of that healthy competition but also having that support system so you're both growing and wanting to be the best versions of yourself as possible oh you can't tell (laughs) I love so many things that she talked about and could talk about them forever but it was it was beautiful yeah I could not have said that better myself thank you (laughs) so much Ali you're the best and thank you all for taking an inside look at a community dedicated to educating the next generation of disciples and scholars see you next time on inside the honors college